I have a question about energy. Mm -hmm. I find that as I'm getting more clear, then naturally I'm more open to energy from other people and situations and plans and stuff. But it's it happens fairly often that I begin to feel overwhelmed and sure. feel the feelings and I don't know what's going on. Now if I think of it in time I can ask for help. And if there's help. But what tends to happen more often than that is I'll start to feel overwhelmed, so I'll put up a boundary. I'll cut off sure. real quick. And then I don't feel good because now I'm cut off. That's right. So do you have any suggestions about that? Yeah, here's an interesting thing that happens. You know, it's funny about growth. Growth means you've got to change. You can't expand your awareness and your skills and your development and your connections without becoming something or someone different. You can't be the same person with the same behavior or even with the same experiences. As you begin to expand your awareness of anything, but we'll use energy right now, you first start to encounter all your old fears and doubts about feeling such things, which is why you stopped them in the first place. You didn't know how to handle them. Probably in your situation when you were growing up, there was no one to teach you or train you or, or tell you. There were, there were these certain kinds of feelings and sensations and experiences where you didn't know what to do, so the best thing to do was block them off. And, but now you want to grow. So now you open yourself up and you've got the same old fears and doubts about these experiences that are still there because they've never been changed. Maybe some of them have spontaneously, but a lot of them haven't. So what do you do now? Part of the process is twofold. It's expanding awareness and expanding, how can I put it, your self-determination, your direction you're taking charge and responsibility for your own reactions and doing something about it. When we talked about talking to the coup, talking to the body before, it's virtually the same thing here. When you start to expand your awareness and you start to be aware of energies that you don't know how to deal with, start telling your coup, your subconscious, your body, your feelings, how you want them to deal with it. This is what I want you to do right now when this happens. Now we think, oh, well, that's such a lot of work. It is until you establish those new patterns of response. And then those are the natural ones. And then you'll expand your awareness more and discover other areas that are a little shaky. Anytime we're doing something new, like Susan did that meditation, anytime we're doing something new, at first it's a little shaky because we don't know what to do for sure. We don't know what effect this movement is going to have, or that movement is going to have, or that thought. But we've got to try it out, or we're never going to find out. This is part of the risk of life. So we try things. And just like a baby learning how to walk, that step causes falling down. So we drop that one, and we take this step, which causes standing up. And it's this process of trial and error where we learn new patterns that work and sometimes discover some that other people didn't. And that gives us a chance to share that with them. That's no different in life in general as it is in a sport or any other kind of skill where different people break ground and discover new ways of doing things. So you've got to give direction at the same time as you are expanding awareness.